What's up, peeps? We're back. Welcome back to Inconspicuous Thoughts. And I'm your boy, say it with me, the unapologetic, notorious sh Ace Mob. And we're back, baby. We're back with a reaction. And what are we reacting to today? Boy, I'm seeing a lot of this whole TikTok craze talking about this uh, Chase Bank banking glitch. You know, when I first saw it, I thought it was just a parody. I didn't think it could possibly be real. Like, who in their right mind would think that this is real? Apparently, a lot of people did. And boy, when you say we don't have the brightest people amongst us, this right here proves it. Because people was going to the ATM, putting their card in, and... Basically, people, you were scamming your damn self. Long story short, somewhere in there, you thought the the computers at this particular banking location or bank company itself, you thought you found the cheat code and we're going to get out of this neighborhood. We're going to get out of the hood, baby. We're going we gonna to get us a nice little apartment up in the sky. We're going to get a nice ride. And we're gonna, and we're gonna, you're gonna go to jail. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. What in your right mind thought that this was something that you can do? Uh, but we're gonna react to this video. But hey, if you knew here, and I mean you knew here, hit that subscribe button now. This boy is working hard, hard, I tell you, to put some food on the table. For my family and all you got to do to support your boys cause is hit that subscribe button baby <laughs> join us <laughs> but uh no more talk let's just get to this video and uh link in the description that way you guys can watch the video but uh here we go let's see what this is all about and the stupidity to break the bag. <sighs> I'll take out these four Chevy me! Let's go to the ATM, let's go to the ATM, let's go to the ATM right now! Chevy me! Oh my god, Chase, Chase, Chase! Chase! <laughs> nah, uh, this line is crazy. What's up with this line though? Chevy busting like that? Y'all, don't be scared when I tell you this, but the way these are looking for that Chase card, you might have to put that in your ass! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that. Negative. What's that? 31000 Then the next one, negative $7,723.46. Mm-hmm. You scammed yourself. <laughs> you, 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 you're just dumb. You're dumb as hell. You scammed yourself. And here's the sad part. You're going to have to pay. They gonna come collect. Uh, there's gonna be so many horror stories with this. I can laugh, but I just know the reality that awaits a lot of these people who thought this was a glitch. And they're gonna pay for it heavily. Heavily. And it's not gonna be funny. Oh well. <laughs> Sweat it out, homie. It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah, they really indeed. told me to tap in next day. I was supposed to clear and look at my account, yo. Mm -mm. <laughs> Fellas, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? So, I was just scrolling on TikTok, minding my own business, and I stumbled on maybe the wildest story of the summer, bro. People claiming they're cashing out big time from a Chase Bank glitch. I mean, we're talking 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, even some people claiming on TikTok. Bro, they cashed out a million dollars, bro. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Hit that chase play so bad right now, bro. I'm seeing people, my close friends, going up 20, 30K, running it up on chase. I see somebody just hit 90K on, on, on Twitter, but I just know if I hit that play, God going to use me to beat us down. <laughs> exactly. I know he is, so let me just go ahead and praise him. Tell me thinking about, you know, that cash app glitch that happened like a while ago. 
People were making bank off of Cash App, spending money on everything from DoorDash and stuff on Amazon, fam. And according to this news report by Zuri Anderson, the viral Cash App glitch had some users making bank, bro. They were able to transfer almost an endless amount of money to their accounts. But, yo, that thing got patched up quick. And, bro, <laughs> them accounts, bro, they went from green to red real quick. I mean, we're talking about some people that had, you know, $25 in the red to nearly 40 grand. Mm. Bro, that's generational debt, man. Fuck wealth. I mean, people were getting <laughs> carried away, fam. I mean, they bought wings, bras, man. They bought food, man. They bought Amazon deals, man. They were cashing the fuck out. But guess what, man? They now, I don't know too much about the uh, Cash Act blip, uh, glitch. Uh, somebody in the comment section can get me on game on that one. Do a little research, but... People, listen, computer errors happen all the time, but when they cre uh, correct it, <laughs> it's on you. It's on you. Legit. I mean, I, I try to process things in my brain like, yeah, of course, everybody want that cheat code. Who doesn't? Everybody want that cheat code. Everybody want that bank account to be sexy, fat. They want that money just stacked tall with a lean. Or should I lean this way? <laughs> I understand. But where do you think you're going to beat the system? The system is already rigged against you. So you think it ain't going to keep it on you? Uh, good luck. We'll find your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Patch that game up real quick. So I'm looking at this chase glitch right here. See niggas clearing 40k. And mm. I'm like, how sway? Like, bro, <laughs> it's going to be the same thing as that Cash App glitch, bro. And listen, Cash App ain't even a major bank. And they got right. They got their money back. So you know damn right. <laughs> bro, you know damn right Chase is getting y'all niggas, bro. Trust. So listen, in this video, we're going to dive into this Chase Bank glitch. We're going to see how people are doing it. And we're going to see why you are dumb if you ever fall for this shit. Roll that <laughs> intro. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Kill Ivan Show. Listen, if you banking with Chase... Hit that subscribe button. We're aiming for 10,000 subscribers. And when we hit it, man, I'm giving out the blonde vinyl. So if you want that, listen, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like and share the video, man. But let's get back into the video. So basically what's happening on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram stories, we have people claiming they've made insane amounts of money from a glitch at Chase Bank. You're seeing tap in if you would Chase. You're seeing if you want to make 30K, <laughs> tap in. You've seen a lot of stories of- Why is he rubbing that card on him like if that? You wanna make, you know, them dollars. It ain't gonna and make it better on TikTok, lines upon lines upon lines of people, you know, lining up at the Chase Bank ATM, bro. After doing some research, how are people doing this? Okay, so basically, this is what people are doing. Unfortunately, there is no glitch. <laughs> this is actually called oh check fraud. And God. why and how does this really work is I'm from Canada. <laughs> check fraud. Y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. <laughs> Canada, so I'm going to explain you how kind of the banking system works when you're depositing a check. But I have deposited checks in the U.S., so it's pretty similar. But basically, depending on the amount that you deposit, so we see people doing this glitch, clearing, you know, $1,000, 2000 $4,000. And some people have been over $10,000, which is surprising. And the reason why it's surprising, it's because normally, depending on your standing with your bank, normally when you will deposit a check, it might arrive sometimes that a part of the amount is frozen for verification. Now, a lot of the time, depending again on your standing with the bank, you can deposit, you know, 500, you know, 1,000, you know, you can deposit $5,000 and normally it clears without any problems. Now, the thing is, typically banks, anything over $10,000, banks kind of start looking at it a little sideways, okay? So I've, you know, deposit checks of, you know, $100, $200, you know, even over $1,000. And in the past, when I was younger, part of it got frozen because you had to do verification. So I could only touch maybe if I deposited, you know, $1,000, only like $100, you know? And, you know, more that I've, you know, I've gotten the job, I've been working. Normally, I'm in good standing with my bank. I can, you know, deposit a lot more and they don't really freeze any amount. 
amounts. But typically anything above $10,000, the bank is definitely checking that out. So basically, this is how the glitch kind of works. People are depositing, you know, bad checks thousand dollars and it's going through and they're cashing it out but the thing is the bank is going to look at this and be like bro <laughs> like this check doesn't it, it doesn't work bro. this check is it's not a good check it's a bad check and that shit's going to bounce like crazy and then you're going to be in the negative so mm. people think it's a glitch no it's just the bank being like you know a thousand dollars pretty normal transaction we're not really going to check into it right now now people that are clearing out i heard ten thousand forty thousand millions of dollars i don't know how the hell are they doing it honestly it doesn't make sense because anything above ten thousand dollars may that be in Canada, may that be in the U.S. They're gonna check that out ASAP. No Rocky, man. So uh, <laughs> ASAP, I really no Rocky. Don't understand. And let's just check out what happens when you do check fraud. There's some serious penalties. I mean, listen, you can get up to twenty years in federal prison for this. Some people. I mean, look at this. A year faced up to years in local jail. Felonies may result in several years in jail. One man received 20 years in federal prison for federal check fraud related to writing, was that $195,000 plus check to a business in Sacramento County. Why? <laughs> Why even do it? It's not worth it. It is not worth it mm -mm, at all. People even, you know, have to pay fines going up to $10,000 or more. Like, this is some serious shit, bro. So you will get caught. Now, what I think is happening also is that a lot of people are like, I said earlier in the video, are being like, yo, tap in if you have Chase. So that they do it with you. You give them part of the money and normally you get part of it. And that's why they're like, yo, give it 24 hours, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to sum it up like this, you know. I understand the beauty of trying to find, you know, that golden parachute, as we say. But uh, if it's too good to be true, then it probably isn't. It ain't. So I'm going to switch the video up to something to cut this video. I don't want it to go too long. Uh, but uh, <laughs> what did you think, people? What did you think? Did you really... <laughs> My people. <laughs> Guys, come on. Are you really in debt from the Chase Bank glitch? Remember September last year when tons of people found a cash up glitch that mm -hmm. left them in horrible levels of debt, thinking they were getting free money? Well, it seems like many did not take that lesson to heart, because nope. the so-called Chase Bank glitch has led to unprecedented levels of despair, as many thought themselves above the law and abused it. It seems like people were able to quickly deposit fake checks and withdraw huge amounts of cash thanks to a system error, and in doing so have yet again put themselves into poverty. This is quite literally known as check fraud, and the glitch isn't exactly a new and exciting thing to take advantage of. If you knowingly manage to withdraw cash from a bad check, then you are breaking the law. Mm. Of course, it's worth noting that screenshots of this process are... Yeah, that's another thing. You know, when I look at a lot of these uh, screenshots that they were showing, like on Facebook, because I'm not on TikTok, I'm always like, yeah, I'm thinking most of this is fake. I mean, look at that. You really think the bank going to let you take that much out before they get you? Come on. But hey... I guess anything to get a like on your profile, I don't know. Incredibly I'm easy to fake, stupid. and it may be that the total impact of the Chase Bank glitch has been played out to extreme proportions. Mm -hmm. There's this video of a group of guys playing up and throwing cash in the air going around, and it's totally possible that they've made it as a bit to garner attention on social media. In 2024, it can be extremely difficult to tell what is real and what isn't, and stories about people going through a rise and fall are incredibly popular as entertainment and as such may be faked. In this manner, the memes referencing the Chase Bank glitch can be used to tell a narrative, which tells a story of some people being simply too stupid to think ahead about the consequences of their actions. Of course, there are probably some people out there who act in ways that aren't particularly good for their long-term survival, but I'm willing to bet the majority of people who tried this glitch weren't able to withdraw millions of dollars as shown by some of the memes. It comes down to the concept of schadenfreude. You know, the pleasure of someone else's misfortune, as whilst it's funny to see someone who truly believed they gamed the system and took out thousands to spend on frivolous purchases, it's probably not as funny to see someone who truly needed that money to feed their family do the same. In short, the Chase Bank glitch is yet again another example of people assuming they have run up to the big guys in banking by mm. engaging in fraud, and then reaping the consequences of their actions by being slung with massive negative balances, which is almost exactly the same issue the world has faced only a year ago.
What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So I'm going to close it out with this. I think a lot of the stuff that we're seeing online is fake. Uh, there's people who have done it and it's affected and it's going to affect them for a long time, whether it be through fines. And of course, they're in debt or possibly jail. So. Um, I mean, it's funny to a point, but it's also very sad. I mean, I listen, I know, man, you, you wake up with that alarm in the morning. You just want to relax. You want to live the good life. You know, you see it. This is that definitely is not the way to do it. Let me let me put in a check and then pull the money out. I mean, how stupid people got to be. I mean, you got to be so gullible to think it's real. And then a lot of these images we're seeing online, they're clearly fake. They're they're just they're fake to draw the excitement up and to bring attention to their TikTok or Facebook or, or X slash Twitter. So. I mean, I'm just going to sum it up this one that I think this one is just one of those. There's people who've done it and you're going to pay a hell of a fine or worse jail. And then there's other people right now just doing skits and bits because it's going to get it. Like, like the dude said, it's going to garner them some attention. So, um, I use two videos in this one and both will be a uh, link in the description. Um, I don't get it, but to each their own. <laughs> so if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this whole uh, Chase Bank glitch scenario. Uh, TikTok viral sensation. I mean, why don't y'all go back to dancing? I mean, you know, go back to dancing. You know. Go viral that way. Don't go viral to go broke. You're scamming yourself if you do this. So definitely subscribe, people. You know, like I said, you know, the road to 5K, you know, got levels to this madness. And uh, again, I am a smile. This is Inconspicuous Thoughts. Thank you for coming through. But if you haven't heard it from anyone in your life, like I always say, you matter. You matter to someone. And someone matters to you. So be in their life or let people into yours. We deal with a lot and we keep a lot in. Just find someone that you can open your heart to. You know, I've lost so many people that I've loved and will love to talk to them now. So don't be that person. So just find something to engage your senses, your imagination, your excitement, and do more of it. I mean, I know. You got to go to work. You have to. Because this glitch will get you in jail. <laughs> so go to work, dang it. But above all else, always remember to be humble and kind. Love, baby. <laughs>